Hello students, today we will be solving the MSc CMI data science question paper from the year 2018. We will be solving questions which came in the part B, basically the subjective part of the question paper. Let's start off with question number 5 today. So in this question it has been said that function f from the set A to itself is said to have a fixed point if f of i is equal to i for some point i in the set A. Now suppose the set A is the set A, B, C, D. So the set A has the points A, B, C and D. Now we need to find out the number of bijective functions from set A to itself having no fixed point. So uh, the first thing we need to know is what is a bijective function. So bijective function is basically it is both 1, 1 and also on 2. If function is both 1, 1 and on 2, in that case, this is a bijective function. So now, in this particular case, we can see that the set A has four elements. So there can be, uh, basically there can be four cases to solve this question. So now, fixed points. So there can be one fixed point, there can be two fixed points, there can be three fixed points, there can be even four fixed points. So those number of bijective functions we need to first uh, find out and then we need to subtract that from the total number of functions that can be possible from the set A. And when we subtract that, in that case we'll get the number of bijective functions from set A to itself which does not have any fixed point. Okay, so firstly, total number of functions. Total number of adjective functions. So total number of adjective functions from set A to A. Basically F is A to A. Okay. So total number of adjective functions in this case will be equal to since there are four elements, so this will be four factorial. And four factorial is basically four into three, twelve, twelve into two, twenty-four. So twenty-four. Now there are various cases for the fixed point case. So the first case will be so the first case will be so the first case will be we have to consider bijections bijections which will have four fixed points which has four fixed points so the number of such bijections as it is very clear from you Number of four bijections, A will go to A, B will go to B, C will go to C and D will go to D. So that's kind of burn number of bijections, those will be only one number of bijections. Okay, so this is the first case. And now let us go to the second case. The second case will be bijections, bijections which has three fixed points. So now the interesting point at in this uh, case is that suppose uh, out of four points you have three fixed points a goes to a b goes to b and c goes to c in that case d has to go to d point so this bijection which has three fixed points is almost analogous to four fixed points that is it has been already counted under the four fixed points bijection quantity so therefore if we separately consider bijections which has three fixed points then we have to take it as zero okay and now the third case the third case will be bijections bijections which has two fixed points two fixed points so basically this will mean that we are fixing two points two points will be fixed two fixed points and the two other points will be not fixed will not be fixed okay so the number of such bijections in that case will be since you have to select two any two points from the four points so that will be 4c2 okay 4c2 and this will be equal to 4c2 will be equal to 4 into 3 and there will be again two so there will be six total bijections which has two fixed points okay so this is the case where bijections has two fixed points okay now we'll go to the next case which will be bijections which has one fixed point so case three uh, four rather this will be bijections 
which has one fixed point okay so this will be since you have to take uh, basically one point you have to select from the four points so that can be done in 4c1 ways okay 4c1 okay and the remaining three points they can permute among themselves in two ways without introducing any new uh, without introducing any new fixed point so that will be 4c1 into 2 so this will be equal to 4 into 2 which will be equal to 8 so bijection which has one fixed point we have 8 bijection which has two fixed points we have 6 we have zero bijections which have three fixed points and one bijection which has four fixed points so these are the total number of bijections which has fixed points so these number of bijections we have to separate subtract from the total number of bijective functions to get the number of bijections which has no fixed points so therefore number of bijections number of bijections which has no fixed point this will be equal to 4 factorial minus 1 plus 0 plus 6 plus 8 so this will be equal to 24 minus 24 minus 15 and the correct answer will be required answer is 9 so 9 is the answer that you're looking for in this particular question so if you have any doubt regarding the process that you have adopted over here then you can comment in the comment section below and we'll try to get back to you and help you as much as possible thank you very much